Hi there, this is Valderon. Welcome to my channel. This video is a little bit of a promise I have uh, made myself. Teach people how to go from things like Facebook games, browser games, to a little bit more um, interesting games. So I'm doing this in step by step. I'm going to show a little bit what browser games do for you and uh, take it from there I choose here a slot machine not any particular reason for doing that but uh, it's a good brain dead pass time activity you can see how much you win lose it doesn't really harm anyone so by the way Sorry, my uh, Facebook game center was in a foreign language. Uh, I didn't notice that until after I recorded it. Browser games very often gives you the opportunity to learn the game as you go. It tells you what to do here. Click spin and voila, it spins. And now you can sit here for a couple of hours until you have lost all your money or won some. But it's free, so who cares? Or is it? Notice that the, the level icon down in the bottom left hand, it goes up. And I notice that after a while, you have leveled up. Whether it's the spins or the coins you win, I don't know. But one thing struck me. This is a free game on Facebook and uh, you get something when you level up that's very nice that's always the case in, in, in most games you gain something by leveling up here you can actually buy a lot of coins for 99 cent again it tells you what to do if you want to raise and lower the bet I just click with my mouse but um, you could use your arrow keys as well and here I actually misclicked so uh, <clears throat> I put it at 15 billion I don't have uh, can't afford that so it offers me to buy some more coins nice not that I want to I have a feeling those coins would disappear very very quickly so let's get the uh, a bit down to something more manageable 100,000 yeah manageable and we can continue this for a while sitting playing and uh, it looks like you lose more money than you win but as you get extra when you level up it might not go as fast as I feared it would so Facebook is very nice it puts related games for you things you might feel is, is uh, for you and if you notice this has 433,000 players hmm wonder why wonder why I could not play this for much more than 5-10 minutes and uh, then my brain needs to do something. And if you are going to follow my channel and uh, you will see I play like a lot of strategic tactical games. I'm not very good at first person shooters or real time strategy because I'm, a, I'm not a young guy so I, it takes some time for me to react and uh, sometimes you're dead before you actually get to react so I play turn based games and I play well some online games but we'll come back to that so if you want to move from browser games like Facebook and, and uh, the internet one option is Steam I will link uh, to Steam in the description so you can actually have a look at it. Steam sells games. 
So there's a lot which costs money, but they also have a section of free to play games and you can download them when you have signed up with Steam and, and play them. They are a little bit more demanding than browser games. Some is first person shooters, if you like that. Some is different types. But as it's free, you can try them, find out do I like them or not. Sometimes indie games comes on as, as free to play, so you can try them out. There might be something which is interesting there. It's not Candy Crush, it's not browser games, but it is something which there is an option to play. If you choose to pay money for a game, then it will be sitting on the platform and uh, if your computer blows up, you can always download it again on a new computer, you don't lose the game, so it's sitting there. And if you don't have space for more than a few games, again, they are sitting there and you can download them. Another option <coughs> which I use is uh, Battle Pass from, no, that's rubbish, it's Game Pass from Xbox, which is Windows, Microsoft. That costs £7.99 a month to subscribe, but then you can use all these games as you please. You don't have to buy them, you can play them as long as they are on the platform. I use Steam and uh, Game Pass from Xbox pretty much, besides the online games I play. Here you can try out any game you would like to. They are actually put into categories, so you can play role-playing games, you can play together with friends, you can play whatever. It just goes on PCs and Xbox, so you have both options. These in the side is the games I have installed, so I can try them out. Some of them I play quite a lot. You will see that in the channel as well. So. This is going to be the end. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of a peek into gaming and I will make more videos like this. Thank you. Have a nice evening.